Why do you want to be famous? Mm -hmm. I want to be famous so that I can sell more songs and this could be how I make my living. Great. Well, there are rules that go along with that. Second rule or second reason you guys are getting it wrong is it's not just about your music. You need to know how to market. You need to know how to promote yourself. You need to understand the fact that now that you're doing this for a living, you're a brand. So what are the things you have to do now to make that brand popular, make it recognizable and consistent? So you just have to go down that thing. So it's not just about your music. So back to what I was saying. What's up, what's up, what's up, friends, family, and fans? Hi. Welcome to Life on Podcast. This is where we listen and inspire friends in entertainment. And everywhere. And everywhere. That's right, because life happens to everyone. I am Stone Stafford, and I'm here with my homie. Johnny Vaughn. Hi. Hi. Again. Nice to see you. Yeah, we're being so professional right now, because what y'all don't know. (laughs) <laughs> it's for the past hour <laughs> We've had such ghost and machine Technical difficulties It's not even funny just, I'm waiting for the studio To shut down And right only now. thanks to editing You won't know Whether or not the camera Cut off just now <laughs> Or not You won't know that But anyway The show goes on Alright We yeah. thank you guys Please make sure you hit like Subscribe Hit subscribe And, and hit the notification Alright So that you know When these pop up um, And that was due to Angie Irons Who is a faithful listener mm-hmm. But she said You need to turn These notifications on So I For you I iPhone see. users It's two steps up too. You have to turn the notifications on on the phone itself, inside your settings, and then inside the app. Ah, the honey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Appreciate it. So we're still going for that one million subscribers. 2023. 2023. Y'all help us get there. Uh, we're going to start off first with our love shout out. We're going to shout out the podcast. We'll do it at the top so we don't forget at the, the top. End. At the top because we're going to start off with love. I love it. And sow that seed and then. Wow. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Debatable Delaney. Go check her out. Mm-hmm. It is Debatable Delaney. It's a comedy podcast where they debate based on feeling and not fact. So you already know it's a female-driven podcast. <laughs> so Debatable Delaney. You guys go check it out. And Delaney is D-E-L-A-N. EY. Shout out to her. Keep doing a good job. It's a whole bunch of what I think and how I feel about it on there. You know what I'm saying. All over. I'm going to check it out too. So you know, anyway, what, what I wanted to bring up today like yeah. to you and everyone is I was I, still, I can't say I can't believe this is still going on because there's always a fresh generation being born. Mm-hmm. So of course, you know, come, someone comes in and <clears throat> doing music and all this stuff. And I was, so I said, now nah, I was asking, you know, why do you want to do music? And I get the typical thing. I want to get my music out there. I want to be famous. Yeah. So That's still I, a thing. It, no, it's still a thing. And so I then follow, followed it up. Why do you want to be famous? And then all they can do is kind of go back to the first part. It's like, so everyone can know my music and, and my music can reach everyone. So it's Catch 22 on itself. Yeah. So it's really just you just want to be popular. You want you and your music to be popular and famous. So mm-hmm. that is still a thing. Mm-hmm. And, and if any of you guys out there still feel that way, I'm not knocking you. But it made me think about some of the things that, especially up and comers, and there are some people that still do music um, that have done music professionally, but especially up and comers are still getting wrong. Okay. About the whole music business. So that's the first thing I want to start off with is you still think it's about being famous. <clears throat> and being famous and having notoriety obviously plays its role, right? You know, music is a penny's game. So it's really, it's, I would love for it to be about quality first, but we are now in a time where that's not necessarily the case. It's about quantity, all right? So the more you can download, the more it can be streamed, the more people buy your stuff, the better it is for you. So quantity is going to be your thing. And that quantity comes with fame and notoriety. Mm -hmm. The more people know about you, the more that stuff's going to happen. But you still kind of have to have a plan behind it. Why do you just want to be famous? I tell people all the time, if you want to be famous, go rob a bank. Like straight up and Mm -hmm. do it. When tell call the news and say, "Hey, I'm going to rob a bank." You guys might want to be down at you know truest. It comes down to the, what type of fame you're looking for. Yeah, you know, okay. there's fame and infamous, but you know what type of fame do you want for? And then, th- is there a purpose with your fame? Mm. Do I want to be famous so I can make money, which is usually what they mean, right? It's they usually want the money what part. they mean. But if you want the money part, then there's some other things now that go in that about learning the business and all that kind of stuff. Mm. So just doing music just to be famous, have a plan behind that. Okay, and don't just assume one, don't assume other people know what that is, but then don't assume you know what that is. Mm. Mm. Right? Write that crap out for yourself. And you and it might be a little harder than you think. You know? That was that 
that talk show pause where you go like this and you do a motion mm-hmm. and look and, and that's when the co-host be like that's the tag that's the tag I'm catching, I'm catching up that's you, what I'm doing my brain is <laughs> you've been on the is, road my brain is catching up to what we're, what we're talking about anymore. no I'm, I was actually processing <laughs> what you just said is the, the don't assume that you know what that is part because mm-hmm. even with my music my, when I was still doing music it was never mine was never to be famous one right. of my production partners did now, they absolutely wanted to, they wanted the notoriety and all that stuff mm-hmm. and I still can't really relate to that I recorded something at the radio station last week that I'm gonna post eventually and it, it's about that specifically is about people wanting notoriety you need somebody to say you did it you need your name I was gonna called. say it's a validation though. that's exactly that's that exactly validation. what the video is yeah. and when I was I was going through a situation with a writer when when I had a thing because I had to fix something mm-hmm. and they tried to give me credit for it and I was like no 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 it's, it's a team effort no need to even say that and a lot of that for me comes down to two things one the check is already cleared mm-hmm. so if I'm doing the job to feed my family mission accomplished already for me like the notoriety is not really a thing I right. got enjoyment out of doing the project mm-hmm. I don't need all of the, the accolades stuff that come with it and then the second thing and this is the arrogant part of the video I'm, I, this is what I actually maybe not posted that day because I didn't know how it was going to sound I didn't want it to come off this way is that in instances where I'm brought in I generally know that I'm brought in because either there are very few or nobody that can do what I can do sure which is why I'm there sure so that's the notoriety in itself is Absolutely. the fact you had to call me so my name doesn't necessarily need to be plastered all over stuff and I was the same way when we were still producing and writing so mm-hmm. I, I wasn't you know the stuff that I, that went uncredited um, the checks that did come I was cool right. I'm still sick about some of the royalties I'm missing out on today but that's a whole other <laughs> right. thing but I, I I've never been able to relate to that I don't know what that thing is or why you would want it well, because it, I think too it's not even just validation but it's acceptance is that what it, you, you, you need yeah, like, the reason why and I, I found I have said this phrase and I don't know if I read it somewhere if I came up with it I felt like I came up because it just happened in conversation with someone but what I told them is that so many people are striving so hard to be the second rate version of someone else mm-hmm. instead of being the first rate version of themselves you know, and the reason why is some people feel that being themselves, even the first rate version of themselves, isn't popular, likable and acceptable on an on a big enough scale. You know, what I mean, and that that will then drive you to try to make changes and do something or be someone else so that more people accept you, more people like you, more people will validate you. And we all know psychologically where that starts. You have to like, accept, and validate yourself first. Mm -hmm. So when what other people think about you means that much, you need to take a step back and find out how much do you mean to yourself. This is what I have a problem with. And uh, now I think I'm caught up now. My brain is caught up. Okay, here we go. (laughs) All right. (laughs) The issue we have with that, I think, is a a self-perpetuating detriment to any craft. Because when you're attempting to be a second rate version of someone else, whether consciously or unconsciously, Mm -hmm. the person you're emulating has emulated someone else. Yeah. So you become a copy of a copy. You're a copy copy. of a copy. And when you do that, what happens to your genes and genetics? When you copy the copy, the copy, Mm -hmm. the copy, you start getting these errors. And that's where sicknesses come from. Less and less quality. Exactly. And that's what we're seeing right now. I mean, I'm going to throw Jay. I'm going to throw Jay Z out there being a big one because I know so many people try to emulate Jay. A lot of people still trying to emulate Jay. Jay emulated Jazz O. Hmm. A lot of people have no idea who that is. I was in the car with Jazzo in the back seat, and he tells the story all the time, of course, how, you know, that man to this day, well, I shouldn't say to this day, because granted, this was probably 10 years ago, he was so heated. I told him, I said, I said dude, you gotta yeah. let that go, man. Like, this is eating you up inside. Yeah. Man. It's... <laughs> <clears throat> so I've seen him in interviews where you, you could tell he was holding some yeah, stuff. Yeah, I was like, you gotta stuff. let that go, yeah. man. Yeah, but but I mean, across music, it's it's not just him. Um, some of my favorite R and B artists, obviously, Chris is up there, Neo is up there, mm-hmm. Usher's up there. Mm-hmm. There's MJ and all of that. There's James Brown sure. and, and, and all, all of that. Is uh, what's his name? David Fosse, mm-hmm. the choreographer mm-hmm. with Michael. So yeah, I mean, at the end, of the, nothing's new under the sun. Exactly. But that's that's. I think that's where we have to start putting the focus on. When you get back to the whole question of why do you want to do that? What's mm-hmm. the purpose behind wanting to just be famous and why that's going about it the wrong way? When it comes down to the emulation part, just to get notoriety and fame, mm-hmm. you're copying something that's already garnered fame. So it's right. going to be more difficult to do that a second time anyway. Right. And then two, 
again, you're robbing people of what could yeah. be authentically you in that. And like situation. I said, to be clear, there's nothing wrong with being famous, nothing wrong with being uh, popular. Just have a plan behind it. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. And remember that sometimes when you get that crap, it ain't what you want. Oh, yeah. That's I, a whole other thing. I think talk. I've told a story about my little fame <laughs> incident before. Like when I first started popping in Orlando, mm-hmm. and it was cool because nobody knew my name and all that stuff. But the second I started getting recognized, mm-hmm. that was a problem for me. Yeah. Because I, I never wanted that. Yeah. So, I, I mean, it was new level, new devil. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, you know, yeah. sometimes you want to be famous, but then you can't go to the grocery store. Or, so, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, that was really it. Because you're off my that, that, That's the end of it. That's okay. It. You know, you, you lose, you, it's a trade off. You get right. that fame, but what do you give up that you love right now? Yeah. You don't pay attention to that stuff. Yep. Um, so, the second thing mm-hmm. that I feel that people get wrong when trying to pursue, pursue music, and it might sound funny, is you still think it's all about your music. Mm. And in this day and age, it got nothing to do with your music. Well, nothing. I won't, yeah, nothing. Yeah, I won't say nothing. Nothing. To do with your music. Shout out to if, Ice Spice. I'm just all you. <laughs> <woo. laughs> <laughs> I like Ice Spice though. <laughs> if all you're doing is just putting out music, mm. you know that's not going to work. Yeah. You know, it's just not going to work. So it's about it is about your music, but it's about your personality. And at this point now, your music can introduce people to you. But after that you're selling your music and you know it becomes now it's about your brand and mm-hmm. now music is just a part of your brand yeah so this is why you then with your content there is no i can't do content and all that kind of stuff which is another mistake we'll probably get to but you have to get rid of all that kind of stuff again why do you want to be famous mm-hmm. i want to be famous so that i can sell more songs and this could be how i make my living great well there are rules that go along with that Second rule or second reason you guys are getting it wrong is it's not just about your music. You need to know how to market. You need to know how to promote yourself. You need to understand the fact that now that you're doing this for a living, you're a brand. So what are the things you have to do now to make that brand popular, make it recognizable and consistent? So you just have to go down that thing. So it's not just about your music. There was a guy, he was signed to Virgin. This is years ago. Signed to Virgin. Eventually got dropped. Mm -hmm. They didn't know what to do with him. And they said, your music just isn't, a good fit anywhere is what they told him anywhere right that's what they told him and he dropped as of today he has garnered over three billion streams on his music that's up there you know what i mean and Mm -hmm. then granted this he was signed like maybe 10 years ago whatever but still but once streaming once this whole digital thing started whatever as of to date he's like up to like three billion streams on the same music that the label said your music won't work you can put that as ahead of your time kind of deal it just it didn't fit then exactly so now people say well c stone that was about his music actually it wasn't because he did his thing on social media Mm. right all this different content and all the context that went around his music he did so that's the second part where you guys mess up is I, it's not just about your music. I was coming at it from a completely different angle because some of one of my favorite artists right now is Coco Jones. Okay. Um, surprisingly, and I didn't find out about Coco Jones because of Coco Jones and her music. I found out about her from the freaking TV show. She's in oh. she's in Bel Air. She plays Hillary, and oh, okay. I didn't know she sang. Okay, and then I heard I see you. Actually, I didn't hear I see you first. I see you is kind of what I'm hitting on now, but it came out last year, and I was like, yo. Is that real? Like, I, th- I thought it was just a gimmick thing. Mm-hmm. I think she's absolutely nailing the Hillary part on Bel Air. Like, mm-hmm. that, that's one of the, talk about one of the characters that is a complete 180 from what the original was. Right. And it doesn't make you miss the original. Okay. But you, you have an appreciation for what she's doing with this character now because right. she allows you to think that that ditzy thing is still there, but she's an actual, you know, business-minded business guru, entrepreneur yeah. Yeah. in the show. And then she comes out and she can sing, she can dance and all this stuff. And I'm like, yo, this is du-. and then she can, and I heard her do like an acapella thing. I was like, oh, this girl can blow for real. So it was, it it made me appreciate her talent for music first because that wasn't how I was actually introduced her to, right. or introduced to her. And then shortly after that, um, Jimmy, you know Jimmy Fallon's karaoke show mm-hmm. that he does mm-hmm. Jabari Banks was on there and I'm like oh this is gonna be funny like, like it Jabari was, Banks he, he, he plays Will <laughs> oh okay on, yeah, on, yeah, on yeah. same show yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he can sing and I'm like yo what is happening yeah. I mean you know as an engineer I'm like I don't even hear auto like is that he's singing and it's now I have a deeper appreciation for what they're doing as an artist right. from on the acting side, but now I've been introduced to their music too. I, I I wish Trevor Jackson had more notoriety as a singer. Yeah, I've liked I've liked almost every song he's put out. Believe it or not, I really have. But for some reason, I guess he has to, it's shaking that whole Nickelodeon thing. That's, I think that's a big deal too. Yeah. You, you you get some people that get caught was up. Nickelodeon in, or Disney? Nickelodeon, right? I think his was Nick, wasn't it? 
It was a kid thing. Yeah, it was one of the kids. That's kid all things. I know. I mean, you, you had the Disney way back in the 90s where everybody trends. That's where you yeah, got yeah, a yeah. bunch of the, uh-huh. the NSYNC and then Christina and Britney and all of that. And it's difficult to beat that. Yeah. Raven, Raven beat I mean, it. Miley had to be like, look. I'm going to drastically I'm going to beat that Out of y'all's brain She straight up said I'm coming in with a wrecking ball I'm coming in with a nude wrecking ball (laughs) And and there was no way You either accepted it Or you didn't And sometimes Sometimes that's necessary To get rid of that, that That persona But some people would say that's the wrong way to go about it too. Is to, yeah, to yeah. wreck I don't what know people love. The for. best thing, you know, you went from Hannah Montana to nipples. I'm just like, that's, yeah. that's that could be a shot. I mean, we for saw some Bob, kids. We saw Shad Moss <laughs> try to do it when he was transitioning from the Bow Wow persona, and then you know the Cash Money era when he had some real like his stuff was gangster. And I was like, all right, like, yeah, it just didn't feel. Yeah, yeah, that was like a little pumps in the bump mix up. Yep. <laughs> well, now wait a minute now. <laughs> now <laughs> this is different. We can't we can't talk about Hammer like that because Hammer has been validated by people who know like this hammer set suge and tupac down so it's you know it's, it's stories out there that was like hey man need to find a way to bridge that don't, better don't let that don't let that dance and stuff with hammer fool you that's like, funny hammer was he went from a bat boy to hammer was to, from oakland for real so that was that was that's one of them things that i was more surprised when he became a pastor almost like with the mace thing sure, I was, sure. what word okay so i i look at it like that where it's like Pushing your music first now because everybody, it's, it's a thing. Everybody does music. Yeah. Everybody. Literally. Everybody does music. Literally. Everybody. So what else do you do? Right. And, exactly. and putting that on the forefront first, I think, is, is important. Um, next thing where I feel people are getting it wrong is somehow, some way, some of y'all still think the business of music don't apply to you. I, I, I don't understand that. Like, go to the first reason, well, why do I want to be famous so I can make money, make my living? The moment you speak money and finances, you're talking business. Like, I don't understand how you don't equate the two. So the whole understanding of I don't understand how my publishing flows. I'm not really sure where the source of money comes from. I've never heard of, you know, neighboring rights. I've never heard of. I didn't know song. We need to talk about that stuff. Too, okay. actually um, but yeah, yeah, to not even know how your money flows for example that's that's not you uh, you see I'm a little bit out of loss of words no because how do you do this and not think that the business pertains to you and some of you guys like I know the business pertains to me but yet you don't find it important enough to educate yourself on it and I almost hate using that term anymore educate yourself educate yourself because everyone says it and no one does it but nobody explains how to actually yeah. do it either. That's well, thing. that's not true because Lord knows all you got to do is follow Stone 007. <laughs> okay. Or go to stonestaver.com or with my YouTube channel. I'm giving the stuff away for free. Like, seriously, I you almost don't even need an attorney. Now, I am not an attorney. I just want to make a disclaimer. I did not go to law school. I did not pass the bar. <laughs> I did not offer illegal advice. <laughs> but after 30 years, your boy knows a little something, something about a little something, something. But yeah, but you got to learn the business of it all. right? And unfortunately, people still take that part too lightly. So that's another area where they're failing. Okay. You're like, all right. Like, and then another one that I'm going to knock out is, oh, my goodness gracious, <laughs> in this digital age. Some of y'all still thirsting for the major record deal. I, that part I don't get. You even have some of the majors being like, "Y'all don't really need us." <laughs> In so many words, yeah. I don't. I don't. Maybe now you're good at speaking for the people. Mm. At knowing the layman's in the peasant talk, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> this is how this the is common what, folk. The this common is what Stone really thinks about the, the rest common of us. speak. <laughs> and what what do you have a clue for yourself? What that's about? Like why they still feel it's about the aside from the check, which we'll talk about in a second. Yes, one. I'll go there first. They don't understand still where the check comes from and where it and where goes. it goes. <laughs> so <laughs> that's that's the big part. That's that. And that goes back to the last one. The whole not the business not pertaining to you right i only see that in music though i I don't see it in tv you know what you're so right i don't see it in film i do not Mm -hmm. see it in radio like people people come into the the other industries that i'm moonlighting and towing the line Mm -hmm. and all of them people have a more grounded realization of how it functions yeah and are more open to seeing how the business works for real and aren't shocked by it right I don't know what this mythical unicorn stuff is that still permeates through the music side of it because that's the only place I see it. That's, that's but it. you know what? I still think it it hovers around 
a mistake number one, wanted to be famous, yep. and they feel by being on a major that'll make that'll happen. And then there's a big check that comes with that. With that, so and real fast, we won't dissect that. I probably will in one of my clips. You know, if you guys follow me and stuff. But just understand that as an artist, you're the last to get paid. Period. Bottom mm-hmm. line. End of story. End of story. Unless okay? you write some stuff. Then yeah, yeah. Unless you write some. Then stuff. writer, you gets paid before artist. You <laughs> exactly. So, so please understand if you're just on the mic, if you just want the notoriety and stuff, and you're the person on the stage, everyone's claiming, you know, screaming and clapping for and fainting over. Lovely, but you're broke. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, you're the last. Get, and just be being signed to a major label doesn't change that. All that does is give you more resources to one, do what you need to do, and two, pay back and a bigger opportunity to be famous and broke. So, which is even worse. Yeah, you know. So the, the whole just get that out of your head. If you're still thinking that, get that out of your head. Now, Stone, are you saying that major labels don't play a role? I'm not saying that at all. Right, because. At that point, again, going back to what I said at first, if you have a plan, (laughs) right? If you have a plan for that major label deal, then yes, at that point, they become financiers, right? So the same way you go to a bank, the loan you want from the bank, you have a reason why you're applying for that loan, right? Same thing with labor. Have label. Have a reason why I want to go to a major label because all at the end of the day, all they're going to do is finance you, finance. So that's it. So. The label, major label thing, holy grail, please get that off of your mind. Don't let that be a goal. Let it be a byproduct. Because if you blow up big enough, what are you going to do, Johnny? They find you. They're going to call you. They're yeah, going to find you and they're going to call you. All right. So just focus on doing it. Because they're going to want a piece of what you done built. <laughs> exactly. Now they're thirsty. Yeah. And you hold the bucket to the well. There you go. Yeah. Feel that power. Woo. All right. Last thing. A big area where I feel like people are messing up in music is they use I can't. I don't, and I'm not too much. What do I mean? Yeah, I was about to ask you that. What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, what I mean? I can't afford to do this. Okay. Right? I don't I don't have the resources, or I don't know how to do this, or I'm not a marketer. I don't know to, I'm not a social media expert. We use those phrases too much. Please understand that we are in the day and age where it is DIY like a mofo. And at the end of the day, if you can't, find someone who can. Well, Stone, that's crazy expensive. With things like your fibers and your and all that kind of stuff out there, there are ways there are ways around it. There are ways around it, but you you, you totally cut off your opportunity. I think you just, say I can't, I'm not, and um, there's I there's don't. a bullet point to that one that I think you just dug up by saying that mm-hmm. is the partnership that people think mm-hmm. that they can just do it by themselves. That was my big issue yeah. is when I was a part of a, a production team. That's when stuff started happening. When stuff started kind of going shaky, I was like, man, I can just do it by myself. <laughs> That was the mistake I made. Yeah. I needed to find better partners mm-hmm. because the things that you, the whole thing is finding somebody that can handle the stuff you can't, that you aren't good at so that you can focus on what you are. Yeah. That symbiotic relationship breeds both of you. So case in point, with I love, us. I was about, yeah. With us. We'll give you real life examples. I was going to use bigger names. I was going to say Shaka and Luda because those are my two favorite ones. Well, but go for it. Yeah. That's a little no, more no. interesting. Us is here. <laughs> a little more interesting. Well, no. Like Sh- Shaka Zulu is like his business mind, his branding. I mean, the way he approaches everything mm-hmm. is so strategic. Not saying Luda isn't that way because Luda's that way with, lyrically. Right. But that whole brand is what created everything they did from Luda to DTP to everything that came after that. Right. Um, you even bled over into Luda's acting career because of Shaka having that type of mindset, handling that business side. Mm-hmm. Not Again, not that Luda couldn't, but he right. didn't have to focus on that. That symbiotic relationship has built an empire. Mm-hmm. Um, and the same is happening here. That one million subscriber thing that we already have that we have to move into for right. 2023 uh, comes from the the ideation, the writing, the scripting, the setting up, programming, mm-hmm. the editing, all of the different stuff that we split down the middle that we both are handling now. Yeah, and please understand, like we would love to hire someone to do that. We would love to hire someone to do our editing. Yeah. We would love to hire someone to go out there and find our guests. We would love all that someone to do our content. But until that comes, I've, I've never been that I can't, right. I don't, I don't know how. The, I've never been that dude. Even when it was true, I said, you know, you never say never. Yeah. yeah, because, yeah, if someone were like, yeah, you ought to, <laughs> you ought to try for the NFL, I'm going to be like, I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna be like I can't, I don't, and I'm not. <laughs> so, but but as long as it's in my power to do so, uh-huh. and people think that just because they don't know something, that means it's not in their power. Yeah. No, because you have the power to learn it. Like I now am halfway decent with our content and with editing and creating stuff, but mm-hmm. I had to learn it. Yeah. You made I, me say wow a couple times. Huh? Yeah, I, yeah. I didn't come in knowing this crap. Mm-hmm. Like I had to learn it. You know what I mean? So I'm not gonna sit there and be like, yeah, the reason why we haven't really blown up is because you know we only really have a graph. 
demographic person. We don't have a social media person. No, the excuse is now. Here's the reality of it. It's more efficient to be able to pay people to be able to do that stuff because now you can get more done. Mm -hmm. With Johnny doing all the technical stuff and all the sound editing and all this crap, and then it comes to me, and then I'll do the editing for the YouTube. Now, my part got to be crap, though. That's... I say crap for everything. I'm just I say I cry like like oh man I was in heaven man and whoo that crap was beautiful. Okay. I say crap for everything. I think I get that from my brother. Why don't you slide on that one? Right, I just, whatever. I, just, I feel targeted right now. But point <laughs> being is, by not having a team though, it's a slower train. It does slow because down. now time is a thing, and we only have so many hours in a day, and you're on the road all the time doing mm-hmm. these shows. God knows between Icon Studios and even helping Tasha Charm Visions and all this other stuff I'm trying to do with my books, it's a time thing at this point. So yeah, it does go a little slower, mm-hmm. but it doesn't mean the train has to stop. Doesn't so happen. don't use it as an excuse. Learn how to do the crap yourself. You still yourself. hit y'all in the mouth. Just See, I just it. said it. Learn how to do the crap yourself. You did. Told you. Nice, nice way to prove yourself right. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, get the I can't, I don't, and you know, I'm not, get that out of your vocabulary. Cause all you're doing is just offering yourselves excuses to, to fail. Mm-hmm. You're giving yourself permission to fail. So that's really all I had uh, that I wanted to share was just those, those seem to be the five biggest areas where people are just getting it wrong, yeah. especially coming into this game. And there are people who've been in the game for a little bit, uh, for a minute who are still doing this stuff. So knock it off. <laughs> <laughs> My last thing that I'm gonna say is, uh, accept the fact that majority of everybody knows nothing. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times, even the people at the top are making it up as they go. Ooh. And because they are in the position they're in, you give credence and more power to it. And a lot of times they're wrong. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. yeah. I've, I've seen that. It's been and it's actually been refreshing to see that sometimes. Oh, yeah. When someone I always revered and mm-hmm. like the guy I was at dinner with yesterday, I was talking about, mm-hmm. he knows so much, especially in the finance, in the in the uh, what do you call it? Um, M&E, the mergers and acquisitions and real estate guru. Mm hmm. I was breaking down an idea I wanted to do with catalog ex, um, catalog acquisitions and publishing, and he was just sitting there like, well, how does that? Well, what? Oh, wow, really? And I'm just blowing his mind mm-hmm. on that stuff. So, again, just be the best version of yourself. Stop trying to be a copy of somebody else. That's it. <laughs> All right. Yo, lifeonpodcast.com. That's where you can find everything, audio and video. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to check me out, you can do so at stonestafford.com. And all my social links are on there, so you can go ahead and follow me if you wish. Just shouting Von J-U-S-T-J-O-N-Y-V-A-N. See, I left you alone. Thank you. We appreciate y'all, man. We love you. Thanks so much for your support. Don't forget one more time, like, subscribe, follow, notifications, all that kind of good stuff. Thanks for helping us get to a million subscribers this year. We love y'all. Peace. So back to what I was saying.